worry, Dad. Robbie's father said he'd pick us up. Just make sure you're in by midnight. Okay. Yes, if something happens with Robbie's father, I don't want you driving with anyone who's been drinking, okay? All right, Dad. You wouldn't believe how much talking I had to do before my mother would let me go to this party. Well, everyone's going to be there. Yeah, it was almost everyone but me. Hi, Mr. DeMond. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Robbie. Thanks a lot for the ride. Wow. I didn't even see that box till you started breaking. Sure scared me. I sure didn't see that jump out in the road. It's real easy to overdrive your headlights on a road like this, especially with a few curves. You can't stop within the range of your headlights. Cindy, have they showed you that you drive red class? I guess we went over it. Just like during the day, at night, you've got to keep your eyes moving. Look ahead to the full reach of your headlights and beyond for taillights and signs and whatever you can see. And don't make the mistake I just did. What'd you call it, Robbie? Overdriving your headlights. Yeah, slow down and don't overdrive your headlights. OK, buddy, take that. Cambridge? You should just leave your brights on to show what he's doing to us. No. Nope. You don't want to do that. That would only blind him and endanger yourself. Better than one of you can still see. If a car has its brights on, look to the right side of the road. Follow the white line if there is one. But you still got to look down the road, so just slow down and fight the glare as best you can. You know, even though your eyes are a lot better than mine, there's no way you can see as much at night as you can see during the day. No matter how well you know the road, it's easy to get overconfident. You don't have the depth perception. Even colors aren't the same. Even if it's a lighted street you think you know, you're going to see a lot less at night. The thing that gets me is it's hard to see traffic lights or even signs when there's so many other lights around. At night, you always have to make more of a conscious effort to see what's going on. So slow down and keep your eyes moving. Look at that guy. He's weaving all over the road. Just look at that guy. Let's try to get around him. No. What do you mean, no? You shouldn't play around with him. He might be drunk. Don't worry about it. He's not going to kill us. Cambridge, just let him get further ahead of us. We're not in that much of a hurry. You should try to stay out of anyone's way who's weaving like that. There's no telling when they'll change lanes or fall asleep or anything. OK. We probably should stop and call the police.
Girls have a good time. Thanks, Mr. Dumont. Your father's picking you up, right? Yeah. If there's a problem, call me. Sure, Dad.